Hey guys, it's Hater Number VHA here bringing you another video. Uh, so a few weeks back, we did a video on the Wisecam V3 and uh, got it integrated into Home Assistant, not with a custom firmware as we were hoping originally, but we were able to use a third party like Docker bridge in order to make that connection. Well, it looks like last week, Wise finally came out with a custom RTSP firmware for the Wisecam V3. And we're going to take a look at it today. All right, so as you can see from these instructions, it looks like the install is going to be pretty much the same type of install that we did with the Wisecam V2, uh, which makes it easy for us to do this. We already know how to do it with the Wisecam V2. Feel free to check it out in the video up here. But if you have the Wisecam V3, we're going to follow these instructions and go through that install today. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, so, of course, for starters, we're going to go over uh, some prerequisites. Uh, just something that uh, if you had already had this set up with the uh, previous configuration that we did, uh, we'll want to go ahead and kind of clear that out. Uh, once we do that, we're going to download the firmware and prep our SD card. Once we have that prepped, then we're ready to uh, install the firmware on the camera. Once we got it installed, we will get it added into Home Assistant. And lastly, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so for prerequisites, um, like I said, if you did the install previously um, with the WISE bridge uh, in Docker, then you'll want to basically disable that because we're not going to use that setup for this. We'll uh, use the RTSP firmware uh, directly on the camera itself. So we just went into Portainer here and I just disabled that. If you didn't do that install, then you can just kind of skip this step altogether. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So here are the instructions uh, to at least get us started. Basically, all we need to do is just download that firmware. This says name it demo.bin, uh, but that is for the older version of the Wisecam. Uh, so we'll change that up a little bit for the Wisecam V3. Uh, they have not updated their instructions for the V3 yet. Here we are on the page. We're going to click on the download link for the Wisecam V3 RTSP. Move that over to my desktop here. I'm basically just going to extract it. So it should be a bin file. In fact, that is the name of the file that we want. Demo underscore WCV3.bin. Leave it named that. We're going to put it in the root of our SD card, which I have here. So we'll just kind of drag it over. We'll give that a second to uh, copy. Then we can extract that SD card. We're basically ready to move on to the next step. All right, so installing it in the firmware is a little tricky. It may take you a couple tries to get it right, but basically we'll put the SD card in the bottom. This is while the camera is unplugged. Uh, yeah, just kind of push it in there, make sure it's uh, seated in there correctly. And then what you're going to do is you have to try to figure out the easiest way to do this. Um, but you're going to push the setup button while plugging in the uh, power cord. Um, so it's a little tricky. It may take you a couple tries to get it right. Uh, but once you do that, when it comes up, you'll see the light change to like a purple color. It's essentially the red and blue lights going at the same time. Then you can kind of stop. And basically, you're just going to wait. Uh, it'll probably take two or three minutes to do the update. Um, but basically, when it when it's finished, it'll come back online and have the blue light again as if it's already connected to your app. We'll kind of fast forward here. 
And as you can see, now it's turned blue. So we're ready to move on to the next step and get it added into Home Assistant. In order to get this thing added into Home Assistant, we need to enable RTSP in the uh, firmware now that we've got it updated. Uh, so here in the WISE app, we're going to the settings in the top. We'll go down to advanced settings. Uh, and if you look down at the bottom, there is an option for RTSP. We're going to turn that on. It's going to ask you to create a username and password. This is uh, totally separate from your WISE login, so you can set this to whatever you want. Give it a username and password here. And then say generate URL and this will give you the RTSP URL that you'll use to access that stream. That's what we need whenever we're setting up the camera in Home Assistant. All right, so here in Home Assistant, I'm in the file editor for my cameras.yaml file. Um, we're just going to find us an open spot down here. Uh, I'm using FFmpeg for these RTSP cameras, so we're just going to set the platform to FFmpeg. Uh, for the name, I'm just going to call it WiseCam V3. You can call yours whatever you want. And then for the input, this will be where you put that RTSP stream. Now I have mine stored in my secrets.yaml file, uh, so of course I'm just going to do exclamation secret and WiseCam V3. I'll have all this in the description below so you can copy and paste it. Once you're done with all that, we'll go down and go over to server controls where we will check our configuration and then of course restart Home Assistant for these changes to take effect. Uh, we'll give it a few minutes to come back up and we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so here we are in Home Assistant. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and edit my Loveless uh, in interface here. This is my test tab. We're gonna add in a picture glance card. Basically just gonna search for that WiseCam V3 and there it is, as you can see. We'll go ahead and remove the sensors. We don't need any of this extra stuff here. Uh, we'll save it here, give it just a second. And there it is. You click on it, you can see it kind of rolling through. Everything looks good. We have the WiseCam V3 added into Home Assistant with the new custom RTSP firmware. That's it, guys. That's the end of the video. It was a pretty simple uh, setup, pretty much identical to the uh, setup we did for the WiseCam V2. So I was pleased to see that they now have custom firmware for this new camera. Uh, I think it works pretty good. We'll kind of see how that goes. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, jump over to my spring merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're interested in VPN service, check out IP Vanish. I'll have a link in the description below. If you jump over to their site, you can see what deals they currently have running. Also, if you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, check out Robinhood. I'll have a link in the description below. If you sign up with that link, you and I will both get a free share of stock. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. And I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.